Heartland season 18 is in the making and I feel like it is time for us to go through the entire cast and get to know them better. And is there a way to know someone other than getting personal with them? I don't think so. That's why in today's video we are exploring the personal lives of our beloved Heartland cast, learning about their partners, backgrounds and passions in life. So without further ado, let's dive in. Amber Marshall Of course, we should start with our queen, Amber Marshall. 35-year-old Amber has basically grown up on screen in front of her eyes. However, despite common perception, Heartland is not actually her first role as an actress. She started acting back in 2000 in a TV series titled Super Rupert. After that, she starred in multiple other projects such as Twice in a Lifetime, Doc, Dark Oracle, and The Christmas Shoes. However, starring as Amy in Heartland back in 2007 has made her the household name that we know today. Since then, she not only excelled in her on-screen character Amy, but also became a fully-fledged businesswoman with her own magazine and jewelry line. She is also obsessed with horses just like Amy and even volunteers at a local vet in Alberta. In fact, she openly expresses that there is nothing she loves more than acting and horses in life except, of course, her husband, Sean Turner. The couple met at a horse show almost a decade ago and it was basically love at first sight. Turner is a photographer, so he's not exactly in the entertainment sector. Still, he's a helpful husband who encourages Amber's career. The couple is living in a nearby ranch to Heartland with their horses, dogs, chickens, rabbits, and more. Amber even rides to the set at times, that is how nearby she lives to the set. Graham Wardle And now, on to the man who broke our hearts the most, Graham Wardle. 37-year-old Graham was the apple of our eye as Ty Borden in Heartland for years until he suddenly decided to leave the show a couple of years ago. So, we are kind of resentful towards him. Nevertheless, in my mind, he will always remain as Ty Borden and thus deserves a spot in this list. Wardle's acting career also started in 2007 as he starred in a movie titled In the Land of Women alongside Meg Ryan. In the very same year, he also starred in Heartland. Then, for years, his career was basically limited to Heartland except for some brief appearances in movies like Yesterday and Mon Ami, as well as one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Supernatural. So you may question, why did he leave Heartland? Well, basically, Graham wanted to be in more connection with his spirituality. And I highly respect him for that. He has a podcast titled Time Has Come, in which he explores various spiritual topics, the human's link to God, nature, and the universe in general. Unlike the common assumption, he actually never dated Amber. I know, I know. I also feel like they would have made an amazing couple. I mean, it is clear that their chemistry is not limited to their on-screen performances. Look at this podcast episode of them together, you can feel the sparks flying. Nevertheless, their relationship is strictly platonic. They are simply best friends in real life. Wardle was once married to Alison Wardle back in 2015, but after three years together, the couple decided to divorce. Michelle Morgan Michelle's on-screen character Lou is a controversial one. The ones who love her, love her, but the ones who hate her, absolutely hate her. So she's a very divisive character for the fans. In real life though, Michelle is the most normal and non-controversial person possible. She's a soccer mom who excels in her filmmaking business and that's about it. The 42-year-old actress has been married to his producer husband since 2012. The couple has three children together and lives in Vancouver. Her acting career also got kicked off in 2007 with Heartland. After that, she starred in projects like Diary of the Dead, Stargate Atlantis, The All My Sins Remembered, and Ghost in the Machine. In 2008, she founded her own movie company, Mufano Films. She thrives especially with her short movies on various topics, she's also getting into directing. She even directs some of Heartland's episodes sometimes. In 2020, she joined Women in the Director's Chair, Story and Leadership Program, and started to work on a post-apocalyptic movie project, The Plains. One of her real-life best friends is Amber herself, which explains the amazing sisterhood dynamic between the two on screen. Alicia Newton Ah, uh, Alicia, our little princess. Seriously, Alicia, where have you been? That's a very valid question for any Heartland fan to ask her. As Georgie, we loved her, we adored her for years. And yet, suddenly, she disappeared from the show, supposedly going to Florida to get training. I mean, I get it, 
but also it's been quite a while. And personally, I'd be really mad if she wouldn't return for season 18. After all, Heartland is the show that brought her immense success. Before that, she had a role in the TV movie The Wyoming Story in 2010. And then in 2012, she welcomed Heartland into her life, which changed everything. For years, she starred in the show as Georgie, but during the break in pandemic, she decided to move to Hollywood and explore other projects. The 22-year-old actress starred in multiple movies and TV shows since then, the most prominent one of which is My Life with the Walter Boys. And in 2024, she is expected to star in the TV show Murder in a Small Town. Just recently, she announced that she bought her first house and is finally out of her parents' house. So clearly, this shift in her career paid well. Also, in the same post, she makes it Instagram official with her boyfriend, though we don't know the exact identity of the boyfriend. It's good to see her thriving, though. Sean Johnston Sean is the most seasoned actor in Heartland. He's 65 years old and has been in the entertainment industry for decades. He's also one of the few local Albertans in the cast, which explains why he seems so natural in his role as Jack. He studied at the University of Alberta's drama department and since then has been starring in multiple projects. Though he himself admits that Heartland is the best job he ever had and will ever have, he has his own theater in Edmonton named Shadow Theater. In 2020, he announced that he was working on a musical project named The Book of Sean, a story behind his Heartland music. I mean, as a fan of Heartland's soundtrack, I totally get the inspiration behind this project. Sean has been married to Sue Johnston for decades, and the couple has a son named Shay Johnston, who is also an actor, he even starred in Heartland as the young Jack. Chris Potter Last but certainly not least, let's talk about our bad boy hero, Chris Potter. Despite his bad boy persona on screen, Chris is actually a complete family man in real life. He has been married to Karen Potter since 1985 and have four children together. He is so much into his family that he speculated on leaving Heartland multiple times as he is forced to stay away from his family for months when filming in Alberta. He is one of the most experienced names in the Heartland cast as he is in the industry since the 1980s and starred in dozens of projects. Other than Heartland though, his most prominent roles were in the Good Witch movie franchise in which he was also co-executive producer. Fun fact, he was actually wanted to be an athlete when he was young, however, his father wasn't a fan of the idea, so he decided to become a rock star. Eventually, he figured out his true love was acting and personally, I'm very much glad that he chose this career path. It is great to see that all of our Heartland cast members are keeping things busy in their real lives and are in happy relationships. I only want the best for all of them while hoping to see every single one of them in the upcoming Heartland season in one way or another. But what do you think? Which Heartland cast member is your favorite? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you watched the video until this point, leave me a star emoji in reference to Chris's dreams of becoming a rock star. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.